Well, if you didn't know it already, uh, today is Robbie Burns Day, a celebration of Scotland's greatest poet more than two and a half centuries after he died. And for those who celebrate, Burns Day has been marked in the usual way, maybe a drop of scotch, a taste of... Uh, uh, tartan and the haunting skrill of the bagpipes and of course the guest of honor at any Burns dinner the haggis Aaron Glacier reports from the tartan frame sign to the fridges stocked full of traditional meat pies the newest Orr's family butcher shop in Sydney is Scottish through and through this is the big item today and the best place in town, or Western Canada for that matter, to scoop up a traditional haggis for Robbie Burns Day. Simply delicious, you know. Um, ancient old recipe, uh, made properly. And that's, that's the secret to good haggis. I'm from Calgary originally. My father founded the Burns Society in Calgary. Uh, and as a matter of fact, they used to buy their haggis from this shop to do the Burns dinner. So yeah, it's important. So too is the man whose birthday in 1759 is still celebrated the world over. Known as the Plowman's Poet, the works of Robbie Burns brought pride to the Scottish people, including the ode to the haggis. The beasties. Still recited when the delicacy made mostly of lamb, oatmeal and spices cooked in a sheep's stomach is sliced open. Uh, the third verse goes, his knife Say rustic labor day and cut ye up with ready slight. Then, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, the best haggis in Canada, I'd say. Very nice, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. And a statement seconded by a first time taster. 94 years old and your first haggis. Yes. Thoughts? And I'm very surprised how good it is. A touch of Scotland everyone can enjoy on Robbie's birthday. Head into Victoria and you will find another touch of Burns. This memorial was erected in Beacon Hill Park in 1900. And along with his love of poetry, Scotland's favorite son was also fond of a certain instrument. A master bagpipe reed maker is hiding right here in Victoria. His cane based product, so sought after, it is shipped worldwide. It has to re reproduce that sound that makes your, makes your hair on the back of your neck tingle. And tonight, Troy will be toasting Robbie Burns quietly in his workshop with another old friend. A good single malt, for sure. <laughs> Aaron Glazier, CTV News, Victoria.